All right. Try it again. Ooh, three tokens. Okay. Oh, I see. So you choose where you want to spend your tokens on each playthrough depending on your level. That's cool. So what do I need the most? I'm going to say sanity, health, and 9mm capacity. Alright. Where to now? Oh, that's Stonehenge down there. I just realized that. Alright, so I think that's where I would need to go when I've completed... when I've got all the parts of the ritual. Well, let's go to the nearby town. Well, I should be good on supplies, since I think you start out with max 9mm ammo, so let's look for work. Supplies need to be delivered. Hmm. 266 miles to the north. Alright, let's take it. It'll be a fun road trip. Yeah! Oh my god. Alright. Here we go. From a family member. All right. Oh, it's a good sanity one. Ever since I crossed the town limits, I have felt the sensation of being watched by black, unwelcoming eyes. At night, I hear an insectile skittering echoing through the crooked streets and dense alleyways that could conceal no end of horrors. Moments ago, I turned suddenly and I'm certain I glimpsed something on a nearby rooftop, which ducked behind a chimney stack, when it saw I was watching. I've resolved not to sleep here. Let's investigate. After numerous failed attempts, I finally managed to catch one of the creatures and wound it. From there, it was just a matter of following a trail of foul-smelling ichor to the lair of the beasts. I was led to a thickly forested area that I think may once have been a memorial garden before the shadow's perversity infected the foliage. Many distressing noises rustle out from between the trees. Am I prepared to root out the infestation? Of course. I never managed to hit those things. They're really not worth a, a shot. I really don't think they are. You gotta time it just right. Yeah, it's like a half second delay between when you click and when it actually goes. Which might not sound like much, but it makes all the difference. The walls of the cave were absolutely covered in the rune, commonly pronounced as... whatever that is, Agon? Each one dabbed on a chalky yellow paint by what I sincerely hope were human fingers. Alright, so she with the color yellow. Good to know, keep those clues in mind for a time when... Oh yeah, I'll never get to that time, because I'm going to die way before it. One of these days... I, I don't know if there's a way to avoid getting hit by that while also killing them with a melee attack. I don't know. No, oh, three usable bullets in the clip. Cool. Although I think it was full. Wasn't I full already? Does that mean that they just got wasted? I don't know. Maybe.
purple purple all around me, purple inside my head and scratching at the walls. I can't face the purple anymore. Open up my veins to let the purple out. Ew. The color purple is associated with a concept of madness. Alright, well, I'm not doing too bad so far. I'm just gonna, sh I'm just gonna shoot it. Okay. Apparently your shots don't actually go directly where you're aiming, they go a bit above it. Which just wasted two of my shots. Good to know. And I just got two shots back, so I guess it makes up for it. Oh god. <laughs> Good job. Oh god. Oh god. Didn't go so great. No magic wand has been waved over the town to remove the taint of the shadow. But, with the infestation removed, it is certainly quieter. Still, my efforts don't appear to have gone entirely unnoticed. A small package has been left by my car, tucked under the windshield wiper. I will open it once I am back safely on the road. My recording device picked up the chanting of some kind of... mantra intended to ward off evil. It was hard to make out, but the last part definitely sounded like... All right, so that's one part of the ritual. Cool. And there's almost all of my med supplies. Wonderful. All right. Let's head up here. Buy some more supplies here. Exhaustion is pulling at my eyelids to the point. I can no longer ignore it. If I don't do something soon, I can't trust myself to drive safely. Hmm. I don't know if I want to pull over a nap. I don't know if I want to be just asleep in the middle of probably nowhere at nighttime. So for a coffee. Fortunately, I happen to be nearing motorway services that are still running and am able to pay and am able to pay five pounds for a jolt of caffeine delivered through an ornate arrangement of froth. For now, my exhaustion is sufficiently at bay. That was really damn expensive. Expensive ass coffee, Jesus. Could buy like two shots for that much. Alright. I think I'll just buy as many of these as I can. Hmm, do I want to look for work when I'm already going for a job? Probably not. No. Not worth it. Seven hours. Can I afford to go here, and then here, and then here? I think I can. Yeah, I'll hit up this place, restock at the next place, and then do it, go to the quest town. From a family member. It's gotta be uplifting, right? 
I don't expect a reply to this. I'm not going to sit and fret about whether you ever will. Just stay safe, and maybe one day, we'll see each other again. Ah, oh, that was good. At least I won't try to shoot myself anytime soon. Hmm, single lighted window. Let's investigate. An emergency hospital has been set up, and it is in rather desperate condition. Most of the beds are filled with screaming patients who have suffered abominably in the shadow, and blood cakes almost every surface and instrument. A flustered volunteer says they can make room for me if I require it, in return for a payment of five pounds. Nope, well, I don't have the money. I'm good. Alright, investigate. Oh, great. We have a lair. Do I want to shoot it? Oh god. Damn it. I should have just shot it. <laughs> Stack food. Wonderful. Actually, it did heal me quite a bit. Well, maybe not quite a bit. A little bit. Yeah, I need the rest of my bullets. I need the rest of my rounds for the boss, though. Ugh. Corpse. I'm surprised seeing that doesn't reduce my sanity. Not that I'm complaining. Oh, key ring. Excellent. That's probably where the boss is. I've been a prisoner of the cult of... Mm -hmm, they're trying to appear, they keep chanting... Alright. There's almost no point in actually reading those things until I get to a point where I can actually use them. I need my rounds. I'll take the damage. I need them for the boss. armor-piercing bullets. You know, I'm wondering whether it's actually worth it to clear out the entire place. I feel like I'm just going to lose more supplies than I gain. Oh god, I think that's it. Gotcha. Ooh, that didn't go too bad. I was expecting the boss to be inside of the locked room. Actually, a message didn't appear, so I guess I need to clear out the entire place. Oh, never mind. Right, new hint. Three armor-piercing bullets. Excellent. Let's go check out the locked room now. Secrets. I like secrets. Alright. 
something about some thing symbol in purple. Okay. New clue. Cool. Got a lot of clues already. You know, I find it very strange that you have this lockpicking skill. You have the ability to use lockpicks, and there's also an item you can get that improves your lockpicking skill. But yet, it seems like every single level has the keys to get into them anyway, so why not just explore the whole level and not even bother with the lockpicks? I don't really get it. I mean, I guess you could avoid going to the entire place to find the keys, but... I don't, I don't know. Seems like you kind of want to find all of the enemies and explore every room anyway. Right, let's restock up and then go to Almsboro. Oh, you know what? I should do this. There we go. How much money do I have? Do I even have any money? I actually don't remember. I don't. <laughs> Never mind, I'm not going to be restocking anything. In that case, drive on. Text from an unknown number. No. Shadows dance at the edge of the light ahead of me, but a cluster of shadows coalesced as I approached and formed the silhouette of a human, waving their arms to get my attention. I need to decide if I'm going to stop for them. The opportunity will have passed in a moment. Let's be nice. Let's stop. As I slow to a halt, a harassed-looking young man in rumpled clothing runs to my window and pleads for a ride between labored breaths. He says that there are dark forces at work in one of the safe towns, and it is vitally important he gets there. His hand is nervously rattling at my passenger side door handle, which I have shrewdly been keeping locked. Hmm. Gonna take a risk here. I'm gonna let him in. Before I could even finish voicing my consent, the stranger hauled me out of the driver's seat and into the road. I could only watch, paralyzed with shock, as he made his escape in my car. For two miserable hours, I walked along the roadside before recovering my car, abandoned in a hedgerow with the door wide open. To make matters worse, the engine has suffered some damage and can no longer go at top speed. Son of a fucking bitch. Now the quest has expired, hasn't it? Yes, Ministry of Occultism. <sighs> Almsboro has fallen to the shadow. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? Sorry. I go to the address to which I was supposed to deliver the package, but there doesn't seem to be a building there. There aren't even any foundations for one. There's just a yawning black chasm that seems to go down forever. I leave the package at the edge, but it's safe to assume I won't be getting any payment. <laughs> Yes, leave the package at the edge of the yawning black chasm. What the fuck happened here? Right. Well, let's investigate. Large creature. Wonderful. So, my car is fucked, I just wasted time, and I failed this quest that I'd spent all this time trying to do. In other words, I'm boned. Janitor's keys.
two armor piercing bullets. Another hint. Clue. Two usable bullets in the clip. Excellent. Was that the thing, or was that just a standard enemy that I just wasted all that ammo on? I think that was just a standard enemy. door. Oh, that thing. Well, I'm almost dead, but I didn't fire a shot. Ah, part of it. Alright, I've got two parts of the ritual. That means I'm half done with the game. Yay! Surely I'll make it to the end this time. Yeah, right. Is that another locked door? Oh. Double locked doors? Whoa, dude. What's going on here? Another clue. Wow. it's a lot of clues. Alright, time to leave. Let's go ahead and... Actually, do I have any med supplies left? I don't think I do. Nope. Great. Well, at least I'm not bleeding. I don't even have any money. Let's go here and get a job. Strange events reported around an area of Saxro. 28 pounds. And it's only 91 miles. Hell yeah, I'll take it. That's a great job. Another one from the Ministry of Occultism. Serious injuries are not schoolyard bullies. They do not just go away if you ignore them. I need you fighting fit against the shadow. Of course, of course. Oh, whoops. Yeah, that's like the best quest ever. One stop away? 20-something pounds? Hell yeah. I've been starved of normal human contact for long enough that it took a few moments to realize that someone at the roadside is attempting to flag me down. <laughs> I need to decide if I'm going to stop for them. The opportunity will have passed in a moment. Well, I know how this went last time. Fuck you, no. Keep driving. I'm turning into a cold, cold bastard. I've been burned too many times. Family member? Sure. Here's four from our account. I don't want to know what you 
do with it. Just use it to stay alive. For us. Please. You know, I don't, like, family member, I appreciate the money. I don't mean to sound like a dick, but given that this money is being spent on literally rounds and medical supplies to save my life from the monsters that have attacked me. Do you think you could spare more than four pounds? Which, as we've already established, is literally less than the price of a coffee. <laughs> I mean, I don't mean to be a dick here, I appreciate all money, but... You just gave me less than the price of a coffee. And I'm spending this stuff on supplies to save my life to fight the forces of evil that are threatening to kill everybody on Earth or something. You stingy... I mean, I love you. Alright, let's do it. Alright, there's a large... Oh, shit. I just realized I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I have three shots. And little health. And no med supplies in my car. And no money. Shit. Well, this is gonna be fun. Unless I get really lucky with the stuff I find inside of containers, I am going to die. Pretty much guaranteed. God, the anticipation's killing me. Come on, come on. <laughs> Alright. Well, I didn't take any damage. But I also have no ammo. Oh, a small portable first aid kit. Oh, sweet. But that wasn't the thing, right? Gearing. Great. Nope, that was not the boss. Ooh, locked door up here. Well, let's check this one first. Oh god. Nope, nope, nope. Don't care about my sanity. Don't care. Whatever. Loot. Need loot. Need- What the fuck is that? I'm leaving. Oh my god, I just lost so much sanity for leaving that room. Holy shit. Ooh, okay. Right. Let's take this thing out and we're gonna have to beat it in the head. Just healed myself. Where did it go? It's weird, it's gone. Alright, should I take- Oh, oh! <laughs> do I go for the boss, or do I look for supplies? Let's look for supplies. I need ammo. Another clue, which doesn't matter if I'm dead. Oh god. Oh god, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die! Oh, I'm not dead, but holy shit.
there's no way I can take on the boss. Oh god. Oh god. It's gonna kill me. It's gonna kill me. <sighs> I didn't even level up. Almost, but I didn't even level up. <sighs> Alright, let's begin a new journey here. Three tokens, let's go with... You know what, I was upgrading 9mm capacity, but I'm thinking health might be more important. Let's go with one on sanity and two on health. Let's... hmm... Take a stop here, look for a quest. <clears throat> A fellow scholar in Burworth urgently required uh, requires a supply drop within the next seven hours. Twenty-two pounds. Ooh. Oh god, two hundred and ninety-one miles. In seven hours. I don't even know if I can do that. I'll I'll take a different quest. 18 pounds, 13 hours, 130 miles, much better. I'll take it. Alright, it's pretty close. Let's, um... Alright, let's go here, clear this out, probably resupply at Saxton, and then go there. Plenty of time for that. Text from an unknown number. You know, I've never accepted these before, but let's give it a shot. Are you that X-Files paranormal investigator guy? That is so cool. Here's eight pounds. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Apparently they're not all bad. Huh. Alright, being watched. Let's investigate. Three rooms where minions of the shadow are congregating. Okay. Some kind of survivalist cashier containing two hollow point bullets. Excellent. Staking of claim or mark of territory. That actually didn't go too bad. Only got hit by one of them. It's kind of amazing. Usually I get hit by every single one of them. As I uselessly flail my weapon about in the air. I think I might actually be getting better at this game. Amazing! Ugh, got hit. Two armor-piercing bullets. Alright, two armor-piercing, two hollow point, and two normal. Oh god. That was not too good. 
And apparently there's more, too. Dusty jewelry estimated to be worth six pounds. Lockpick. Great, now I'm down to one shot. And about 60% health. Well, it was going well. Not anymore. Those things are so dumb. It's like they just ram their heads in, into you and then die. Oh god. Alright, that's all there is. Yeah, I'm surprised you can't you can't sprint past them fast enough to be able to melee them before they attack you. So it looks like if you want to melee them, it seems like you have to take damage. Tranquilizers. Is that a good thing? What am I gonna do with them? Five pounds, cool. Got a lot of money. I'm rich, man. Got like 30 pounds or something. Clue. Can use that if I ever get to the point where I'm actually far enough along to use it. Small package. Another clue. Cool. Oh, it's actually telling me about the ritual. No, 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 don't quit. Alright, got a piece of the ritual. Cool. So what are these for? Reduces the risk of anxiety. Oh, cool. Okay. Sweet. Let's go ahead and heal up here. Thirty-four cash. Gonna have to get my med supplies back and get some more ammo, definitely. Ten hours. Actually, wait a minute. Can I enter the town? No, there's nothing more that can be done. Yeah, it's hit up Saxton. Single lighted window. Hmm. I have no ammo. So just in case it's something nasty, I'm gonna. Well. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna investigate it. A small country church, where a number of locals have taken shelter from the indistinct word. From the indistinct words drifting out from the entrance doors, it sounds like some kind of sermon is taking place. I'm fighting the prospect of... Peaceable human... Peaceable? Yeah, peaceable human contact. Extremely enticing. Hmm. I guess I'll have a listen. I lasted half an hour before I could stand anymore. The vicar, red-faced and sweating, was shrieking about how his god would have, oh, would have saved us from the shadow. If only we had resisted what he called the modern world's temptations. I felt that we, that he would have tried to incite a witch burning by the end of the night. I left feeling drained and filled with disgust. Damn it. Not worth it. How much time do I have? Oh, seven hours. I got plenty. Alright, supplies. Get all of those. How much does it cost for a med to refill your med supplies? Is it like 20? Hmm. I'm going to buy a couple of these and hope it only costs like 15. Nope, it's 20. Mm. 
suck up on ammo whenever you can, of course. Already done. Alright, I should just make it here. Assuming there's no problems along the way. Alright, I see creatures of the shadow infesting the streets, attacking wantonly. I ready my gun and prepare to lend my effort to the resistance. There you go. Resistance has been offered. Dusty military flashlight that isn't completely past its expiration date. Ooh. Thankfully, my small contribution has been enough to turn the tide, and I am able to give advice on future defense. The local authorities are grateful, and when I none too discreetly mention the posted reward, seem happy to pay it promptly. Cool, so I'm guessing that item is going to increase my flashlight range. Improves visibility. Excellent. Well, I guess I can refill my med supplies now. Let's do that. Get some supplies. Let's go to hollow points, because now that I know... Now I know they explode those little things with one one shot. So let's go with that. Whoops. Text from an unknown number. Sure. Alm Church will not remain free of our Lord's influence for long. Cower there while you still can, heretic. Fuck you. Look for some work. Urgent call for investigation. Ooh, 226 miles in 8 hours. Uh, no. 260 miles. Um, no. 226. Well. It is 17 hours, though. I can do it. Maybe. What's the quickest way to get there? Probably go here, here, and then here. I could go all the way around. But that might take too long. Let's just go here. Oh, another window. Let's investigate again. Hospital. All right. Wait a minute. Mm. A seemingly functioning one, but as I mounted the entrance steps, the front doors burst open and a person in, sur in a surgical gown, injured very nastily and trailing disconnected tubes, stumbled out. After being patiently talked out of their hysterics, they informed me that some kind of malevolent influence has corrupted the hospital staff. And they also remembered with a jolt that they, had a, they, have a, they have a friend still imprisoned within. Noticing my readied gun, the victim pleaded for me to go in and rescue the poor soul they left behind. Let's go in. Yeah, let's go in. Suddenly adrenalized, I readied my gun and instructed the escapee to find safety. I was going to end this nightmare. Locate a missing person or what remains of them. <laughs> yeah. We'll see what remains. Increased visibility, nice. Can see a lot more, almost to the edge of the screen. Of, er, staking of claim, as always.
janitor's keys. First aid kit. A little bit of healing there. And a locked door, which I'm guessing is exactly where they are. Well, I guess it has to be. It's literally the only place I can go. Is that them? I found what remains of the person I was sent to find. There's nothing I can do to help them, except to get out of here and break the bad news. <sighs> How depressing. Alright, time to go. You weren't here before. <laughs> the person who enlisted me has already gone. Perhaps they took the loss of their friend as a foregone conclusion. I quickly check the entrance area for anything I missed, and find a significant looking strongbox in a cache beneath the section of the wall. In the case of a four rune incantation, the last rune denotes the recipient of the spell. Oh. So in the, in the banishment ritual, for example, it would be the rune of the creature being banished. Good to know. You need two things before adding to Stonehenge, the four-part banishment spell, and some idea of which god to banish. Technically, five things, I suppose. Thanks. Alright, do I need anything? Do I have time to need anything? Fifteen hours. Yeah, I've got time. How are my med supplies looking? Pretty good. Let's get some ammo. Oh right, I've got two monies. Um, I guess I'll take an armor piercing. I don't even know what those are good for. Let's go take on Gore... Goreport. Oh, shit. Wrong key. Yeah, Goreport. <laughs> Not hearing any reports from Goreport, and these days, no news is bad news. Investigate if you have the time. I already headed. Hopefully that means they're going to give me a reward. Pandemonium. Alright. Let's go inside. The local leader of the minions. So yeah, I guess these... So the standard bullets, or the standard rounds, are probably good for... Like, decently good for everything. The hollow point are good for blowing up the... At least the things that walk towards you and, like, spit stuff at you. Those will explode with one hit, but what about the armor piercing? What is that good for? I don't know. Maybe the bosses? Mostly garbage, but... Piece of wire? Okay, lockpick. Which I never ever use.
another clue. Oh, maybe those need armor piercing, because that... That was four shots, wasn't it? It's a lot for one thing. Three unfired hollow point bullets. Ooh. Or maybe they need hollow point. I don't know. Like, how do you tell if they have... Like, thick skin, so they need armor piercing? They're just black silhouettes. It's really hard to tell. Let's just look for the keys to get in there. There we go. Problem solved. Another victim. One of many. Five pounds, sweet. What the hell are you doing here? Alright, let's find out. Oh, hollow point does kill those. Okay. Hollow point is very, very important. One shot. Well, actually, I might have hit it with my melee attack, but still. It definitely does more damage than the normal shots. Lockpick. Four pounds. All right. <laughs> We've got one shot of hollow point and one shot of armor piercing. Another lockpick. Just the thing I don't need. Yay! I swear I'm drowning in lockpicks. Another locked door. It's got to be in here. I'm not sure if there's any other way to deal with that other than just bash it in the face and take a bunch of damage. Ooh, another piece of it. Wow. Making pretty good progress on this thing. Okay. What am I supposed to do here? Am I just delivering something, or is this a clear it out? Because if it's a clear it out, I don't know if I can. I need supplies. Hmm. I can't remember. And I don't think it actually shows my quest anywhere. Nope. Huh. YOLO. Let's do it. I'm pretty sure the town I just cleared would not provide me with stuff. I don't know, maybe they would. Hmm. The silhouette of a human waving their arms to get my attention. Ugh. 
<laughs> that can't be a good omen. Let's stop, though. Alright, person flagged me down as a woman in her early 20s, and when I pulled up, she burst into tears and fell to her knees. She looks exhausted, and I think uninjured, but she is spattered with blood from some source or other. I get out of the car and cautiously walk towards her, displaying my palms. But the moment she becomes aware that I am approaching, she gives a shriek and lunges for me. Hmm. I'm gonna hold her and hope she doesn't stab me in the stomach. She goes silent, and I let her breathe deeply into my shoulder for a moment, before she pulls away, momentarily recovering her composure. She gestures anxiously behind her, and explains that she had until very recently been a prisoner of the ancient's minions in a nearby compound. She, men she mentions that her friend, captured at the same time, is still in there, and begs me to help. Well, I have one hollow point and one armor piercing, so yeah, why not? I assure that I will do what I can. She regrets her request immediately, pleading for me not to endanger myself. But I cannot shy from my duty to fight the shadow. Locate a missing person or what remains of them? Yeah, something tells me they're dead. I'm guessing you can never actually rescue a person. They're probably already dead. Well, that took two shots, one hollow point and one armor piercing. I wonder if maybe they need armor piercing. Ooh, two hollow points. Sweet. Two more hollow points. Double sweet. I might actually survive. More hollow points. I'm getting really lucky with ammo here. <laughs> hmm. Alright, so two hollow points also takes them down. Three standard bullets. Holy crap. Lucky. Oh, is that them? Yep, I found what remains of the person I was sent to find. Check the rest of the rooms, though. Another clue? That really messed up. Damn. Oh, fuck, it wasn't even real! Just wasted two rounds of something that wasn't even real. Because of my damn sanity. Fuck. You're not even real. Leaving the room with monsters alive reduces your sanity. Well, okay, maybe it was. I'm gonna assume you're fake and I'm just gonna leave. Nope, you aren't fake. I just lost more sanity. Don't care. I might be a crazy person, but at least I'm alive. Until I shoot myself. The person who enlisted me is already gone. Just like the other person. Oh, found some money. Or something. A note. A clue. Amateurs like you could always just run away from Hellspawn. Personally, though, I find killing them to be better for the sanity. As soon as I arrive, I see creatures of the shadow infesting the streets. Okay. Let's help them. 
Oh god. No, shoot. Shoot. Shoot, why are you... Don't hit. Shoot your gun. Oh, I didn't select it. Fuck, I didn't select it. I didn't select it. It's okay. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Yeah, I guess it doesn't auto-select any other type of ammunition. You have to manually select it. Now I know. Armor piercing. Sweet. To all a point. My small contribution has been enough to turn the tide. Mm-hmm. And they gave me the money. Sweet. Enter the town. Oh god, there's shoot myself popping up. Find supplies. Honestly, I'm... I'm liking hollow point. A lot more than standard rounds. But... Let's buy some body armor. Gotta be careful I don't accidentally try to shoot myself. Okay, where to now? Suppose I could get a quest. I probably should do that. Forty-two pounds. Hmm. It's 299 miles, though. Might be too far. I'm pretty damn sure that's too far. Yes, look again. That's not a very good payment, but it's only 118. I can do it. Yeah, hit up this place, then go to Some Hope. The town of some hope. Not all the hope. Just some of the hope. I have not seen a, I have not seen a single human being since coming off the motorway. The streets are completely deserted. The doors of most of the houses hang open. Cars abandoned. I have searched a few homes and found televisions still on, and food still laid out on dining tables, the cutlery thrown carelessly aside. All is silent here, with not even a single bird's twittering to punctuate the eerie stillness. I feel like I am waiting for it all to shatter, and for the shadow to burst from every crack and manhole like a flash flood. Let's investigate. Alright, condemned building. Masses of cars were parked around it as if everyone had suddenly decided to go there in mass. The front door looks like there was some kind of insane skirmish to get in. Hmm. Let's go inside. I wonder how much my body armor is actually going to protect me. I also need to remember that my sanity is low, so any creatures that I see might not be real. Alright, that one's probably real. Yep. Two standard bullets. You know, I do have seven lockpicks. Like, I could just force my way in here. Let's do it. Broke pick. Broke pick. Broke pick. 
Rogue pick. Done. Success. <laughs> Alright, armor piercing is not the way to go. Yeah, I don't think I don't think that dice did one shot for anything. Found one of the missing townspeople. They're dead for sure. Doesn't bode well for the rest. But I have to keep looking. Two armor piercing left. Not good. Didn't want to have to do that. I could have meleeed it, I guess, but I'm... Ah, uh, maybe I could have. I mean, I do have the new armor. I mean, well, of course I could have. I mean, maybe I should have. Oh. I missed some loot back here. Oh god. That was a lot more damage than I wanted to take. But I don't think that's actually physical damage, which is what the armor protects me from. I think that's toxic damage. Because it's throwing stuff up. Uh, throwing stuff. Uh, throwing stuff. Throwing stuff up onto me. So it probably didn't help in that situation. Oh god. Two pounds. That's not gonna keep me alive. Right, I have no ammo. I think I might die in here. God. Why is there something in here? Well, I could try. Bash in the face! Yeah, I have a feeling I'm gonna die. If I, f if I face a boss here, I'm so dead. I'm so dead. Another missing person. There can't be many left to find. So looks like new enemies will spawn in old rooms. Maybe it's best to avoid going backwards to places you've already been to. Oh god. No, 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 no. So close to dead. Oh, great. Flashy lights. Only one way to go. I could just leave, I suppose. But, eh, let's see it through. Oh god, oh god. Fuck. Oh shit, got hit. I'm going. Yeah, my sanity is going down, down, down. A clue, just what I need. A locked door. Okay, here we go. Oh fuck. No, no, no. There, literally, if I get hit once, I'm dead. Fuck.
I'm gonna have to fail this task. <laughs> Look at my sanity and my health. Well, at least I'm not bleeding. Let's go to some hope. Thanks for reading this text, but keep in mind that they won't always be good news. Sometimes blissful ignorance is better. In other words, you might not always want to answer your texts. Someone at the roadside is attempting to flag me down. I'm just gonna keep going. Alright, give me my money. Flustered man. Let's enter the town, I need healing. I can't even afford a med kit. I can't even afford a med kit. Oh my god. There's no way I'm gonna survive. Alright, let's look for work. I, I need to take a delivery job so I can actually afford a med kit. Strange events, no thanks. Nope. 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 Supply drop. Alright, I can do that. Sure. Hello. I've worried you 11 pounds. Don't ask who I am, just keep doing what you're doing. Thank... Well. Now I can afford the med kit. Get some supplies too. Doesn't even heal me all the way, god damn it. Alright, going over there. Let's just head straight there. Cause I don't think I have enough ammo to really take them on. I'm gonna run out of time. Ah oh, damn it. I gotta go here. Yeah, I'm gonna run out of time before I can possibly do anything. Are you in hiding? Strange people keep coming and asking about you. I haven't told them anything. Do you need money for food? I sent you five. Right, well that'll buy me a coffee. Thump. Oh god. What did I hit? The entity I struck wasn't there. There was only a strange smear on the ground. I explored a nearby field for an hour in case they had crawled into there, but found nothing. When I returned, there was no stain, and my car was undamaged. I'm not even sure this is the same road. Oh god. Can I click continue without trying to shoot myself? Oh, got it. Wait, did I just teleport? Oh my god, I just teleported. I've lost my sanity so much I don't even know what the hell's going on. I'm about to shoot myself. Literally, my character's about to shoot himself. It's gonna happen. It's... It, there's really nothing I can do to avoid it. And now it's been too long and I'm gonna fail the quest. Damn it. Yep, just failed it. I'm seeing faces outside of the window now. Great. Alright, I need a job. Ten pounds. That's not very good, but I'll take it. Alright, gotta return a car without trying to shoot myself. There we go. Okay. Are you the one spreading stupid lies about alien invasions? I live in Almschurch and everything's fine here. Stop upsetting people. 
I'm not sure if that didn't upset my sanity. Because it just doesn't, or because my sanity is so low, it can't, so low that it can't go any lower. Anyway, give me my money. Thank you. Actually, how much money do I have? 16. What can I buy? I think it's 20 for more drugs for my sanity. Hmm. I think I just need ammo. There we go. Let's look for a job. Actually, 16 hours left. Jesus, there's no way I'm going to make it. Alright, take the job. Don't shoot myself! Okay. Return to the car, don't shoot myself. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I can't even, like, get there and then get to Stonehenge in time. I don't think I can. What happens if the time is up and you don't do anything? Does the entire world just get killed? You can cast low-level spells in the field to gain an upper hand, but be warned that it will make your mind an open door for the shadow. Ah, oh, I hit something else again. What was it? It wasn't there. Again. Oh, God, where am I? Where am I now? Oh. I guess it wants me to go to Stonehenge. But I don't I don't know enough, do I? Nope. I don't. I could guess. Can you actually guess and win? Are the runes that you need randomized? I don't even know. I'm assuming they are. Let's go here and shoot something. Oh god, oh god. Investigate, don't shoot, don't... Okay. Investigate. Oh god, don't... Fuck. <laughs> I knew it was coming. Oh god damn it. At least I'm level 5. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to end this episode here. So, so far, I'm really enjoying this game. Um, I'm thinking about whether I want to come back. It's not that there's anything... It's not that I don't like it. Like I just said, I really enjoy it. I think it's really, really cool. I love the, the darkness of it. The universe is set in. The Lovecraftian universe. You know, the consuming shadow, the theme of insanity and just struggling and scraping, just trying to scrape up enough supplies and money and medkits to survive. And ammo. I really like it. It's a game all about, you know, desperation and very disturbing and horrible things. I think it's really cool and it does some very interesting gameplay stuff like the, the fact that the lower your sanity is makes the, the, the shoot yourself appear as or randomly appear as certain options that you can pick. So it, I really like that because it's not something that just happens on its own. It's not just like you get to the end of your sanity bar, it goes all the way down, and then you kill yourself, and that's it. Like, like just thinking back to Indigo Prophecy, that's how the sanity mechanic worked there. If your sanity got all the way to the bottom, that was the end of the game. It's like that's too simplistic, you know. It's not interactive, it's not fun, it's just basically um, a health meter. Goes all the way down and you lose. But no. He's done something very different here. If it goes, the lower it goes. Aside from the various effects that happen. Like hitting things that aren't actually there and then appearing, you know, appearing on the wrong road and seeing enemies that aren't there and stuff like that. Aside from that, the shoot yourself thing that pops up just starts to pop up more frequently. But you can still avoid it. And it's not a guaranteed death. Even if you do hit it, you can still click to attempt to save yourself. 
And you can also avoid to even press it in the first place, but it tricks you. Which I think is a really, really cool gameplay mechanic. It tricks you into pressing it. Which perfectly... Which I think perfectly fits in with the universe of you losing your mind. You know, you try to avoid doing it as much as possible, but just one, one time, one slip up, and you accidentally press it, and that's it. I think it's really, really neat. But there are definitely some aspects of the game that I do find a bit frustrating. Such as... Well, the biggest one is the controls. I mean, when I die... I feel like a lot of the reason I'm dying... Is... Because... Well, a lot of my deaths don't feel very... Fair. I get that it's a hard game, and I'm glad it's a hard game. I like really hard games. But, to take one example, uh, Teleglitch, which is one of the hardest games I've ever played. That game was extremely hard. However, every single time I died in it, it felt fair. It felt like I died because I messed up. You know, I was, I was in control of my character. I knew what I was doing. But it's because I messed up that I died. But in this game, eh, not as much. Sometimes I feel like I'm taking a lot of damage and I'm not able to do what I want to do. Not in an honest way, but simply because the controls are kind of slow to respond and a bit clunky. Such as the fact that your character doesn't actually shoot directly where you aim, but instead kind of above it. And the fact that they're slow to respond and you can't melee while moving, you have to stay still. It just, it feels very clunky. So it feels a bit unfair. I feel like I'm not dying because... Because I'm messing up, but rather, some of the, at least some of the reason I'm dying is because the controls are just really hard to use and they're not very responsive. So I don't care for that that much. That's not to say, of course, that that's the only reason I was dying. Obviously, I'm not very good at the game, although I've definitely gotten better. But yeah, that's a bit frustrating. That's probably my biggest problem with the game. The only other thing is that, as is really common with these procedurally generated games, where there's random events, such as Organ Trail and FTL. Where there's, e there's these events that happen just while you're traveling between places. Or when you get to places. And once you start seeing repetition of these events, and they start appearing again and again, it kind of gets old. And I can see that's already started to happen, even though I've only played this game for two hours. A lot of events have started to reoccur. So those are my two biggest problems, I think. The controls is definitely the biggest. And the reoccurring events that happen again and again. But aside from that, it's still a really cool game. I really do like it. Some interesting gameplay mechanics. It's pretty damn fun to play. I love the universe that it's set in. So I'm not sure whether I want to come back to it. I don't know. Because the more you play it, and the more these events happen again and again, despite the random generation... It's definitely going to get less interesting. Because it becomes less surprising. Everything that happens, it feels less like a surprising, interesting journey and more kind of mechanical. Like, oh, this is that event. So if I choose this option, this might happen. You know, it becomes more mechanical the more you understand what's happening. The more you recognize the events that are happening. So I might come back. I don't know. Regardless of whether I do or not, I've certainly enjoyed my journey so far. And once again, this game is completely free. You can play it for yourself right now. I'll have a link in the description where you can check it out for yourself. Alright, well, I hope you enjoyed watching me play through the con at least part of the Consuming Shadow, and I may or may not be back, but regardless, thank you for watching.